Greetings, Ranger fans. I'm Brian Montgomery, joined today by head coach Brandon Hickman of the Ranger football squad. The Rangers preparing for a now Thursday night matchup against MacArthur at Irving School Stadium. Coach, last weekend uh, the Rangers took on WT White, the annual battle for the saddle. A huge uh, rainstorm came on into town, but it was actually a memorable experience for, for all those players. Rangers picking up their third consecutive shutout and fourth of the season with a win over the Longhorns. Talk about, first off, you saw that weather coming in. You had a lightning delay halfway through. How did that change your plan going into that game? Oh, I mean, we you know we wanted to throw the ball around a little bit, um, and we knew with the weather being bad as it was Friday night, it was like a monsoon out there. Uh, we had to we threw the ball the first series, I think twice, and and just weren't able to catch the ball. The kids did it feel like wet soap. So, uh, you know, we had to end up running the football and uh, take control of the game as far as our run game and controlling the clock. And uh, defensively, we played great. You know, I thought a big turning point in the game was Jacob's punt after the lightning delay. He pinned him really deep back there, and we were able to get away with the safety and then uh, put a touchdown on after that. Yeah, and talk about that run game once again. That that was something that had to come through in that ball game. Any kind of attempt at formulating a passing game was quickly shut down just by the weather in general. Talk about that running back core. They've been a reliable piece of this team all season, and they really stepped up when it counted on Friday night. Yeah, you know, Max Loughborough and Adam Holtz have had a great season. Um, they both blocked very well, too. Um, if you ever see them in games, they're running downfield and cutting guys and, uh, you know, just churning their legs every time they're running the football. What I was very pleased with is, is keeping two hands on the ball. You know, they weren't uh, – you know, risky with the ball at all. Uh, we were able to catch every snap, get every handoff clean, which is what we talked about all week and what we worked on all week uh, with the bad weather. So just pleased with the way they played. I thought Adam had some really tough runs the other night, and Max did as well. And so they're doing a great job this year, um, and we want to continue that uh, with, with this last, these last two district games coming up. And talk about that defense for a, a long time and a, several times during this WT White game. There were moments when you thought, oh, that shutout streak is finally going to end. WT White was driving. But then when, once again, the plays had to be made in the clutch, the defense came through. I think probably the biggest one would be in the third quarter. WT White coming right down the field and then forcing a fumble on the one-yard line. Talk about the defense's ability to keep a calm, level head and make sure that those impact plays did, in fact, happen. Uh, you know, just we've been at times where we're not going to break. You know, they're on the inch-yard line, and uh, our kids don't – they want to keep the shutout going, you know. And, and uh, Peyton Long made a great play on the goal line. Our defensive line did a great job of staying low, and Peyton was able to scrape over the top and hit the quarterback and cause a fumble there, and we were able to get it there on, on our own one-yard line. And uh, – and continue uh, dominating on defense. And, and that's something that we're going to have to continue to do uh, throughout the district, which we will. Uh, we're playing very well defensively. And uh, if you can stop the run, uh, you have a chance against a lot of teams, especially when you get in the playoffs with the weather the way it's been lately. And then talking about that defense, really going to have its work cut out for them against MacArthur, a very vaunted offense in this district, the team coming off of a setback to Skyline. So they're going to have, obviously, chances for them on their minds to make a big splash in the district to take down the currently undefeated Rangers. How are you t tackling this game? How are you approaching this game, knowing that, that the Cardinals are going to be ready to play, and especially the fact that now you've lost a day of practice and the game's been moved up? Uh, you know, we're trying to treat it like any other game. You know, I think the kids' focus this week has probably been the best. I've seen it. Um, their focus seems like the week, you know, we're, we played Skyline. And, uh, you know, they're ready to go. Our kids are ready to play. Uh, they remember last year's game. Uh, we came out and, and Herbie MacArthur did a great job. Uh, the coaching staff did a great job preparing them. And then their kids came out and beat us and played a great game. So, um, you know, we're a different team this year. And you know, I think uh, the kids are excited about this opportunity. And moving the game up is, is a good thing because we're avoiding the uh, bad weather. There's supposed to be, I think, 90% chance of rain Friday night and 30% on Thursday. So this late in the season, I never have a problem with moving a game to a Thursday if we can do that to try to get the game in. So um, it's exciting. You know, it's an exciting time. We're trying to uh, go undefeated in district and uh, we'll see if we can pull it off Thursday. An exciting time for sure. Once again, the Rangers taking on the MacArthur Cardinals at Irving School Stadium on Thursday. That game is now going to take place at 7 p.m. And as always, Ranger fans, be sure to keep it locked into JesuitRangers.org for all of your up-to-date Rangers info.